Hello everybody, welcome back to Making It Up. I'm Isa, and it's time to talk about books yet again. Another month has gone by and I have some books to talk about. This month, June, was very hard for me reading wise. Like, I don't know, I just had a hard time getting in the zone. I had a hard time concentrating whenever I was just reading the books that I'm about to share. I don't know, sometimes it'd be like that. Honestly, there are months where I can read so much and then there are months that I'm like, I am so stuck. What the fuck is in this page? And I have to like reread the same page three times. This month was kind of like that, but thankfully, I was able to meet my two book goal. My OCD would not let me, not let me skip this one. But enough blabber, let's talk about the books that I got into this month. Okay guys, the first book is The Marriage Plot by Jeffrey. I don't know how to say this last name, so I'm just gonna leave it here. He is the author of The Virgin Suicides and Middlesex. He's a well-known author. I had never read anything by him. And I saw this book in the bookshelf at my house. And I don't know, maybe it was my sister's or something, but it's been read. <laughs> it's been a little battered and bruised, honestly. I didn't do this. I take really good care of my books, but it intrigued me, okay? I read the back and I was like, it's intriguing. Also, I really like the front, you know, the cover. I always get sucked in with the covers. I'm not sure how to feel about this book. This book is just basically like a love triangle between one girl and two guys in college and like life after college. Some parts of the story I liked. So basically, Madeline, who is like the main character, she's the girl. You get chapters dedicated to her, then you get a chapter dedicated to Mitchell, who is one of the guys, and then you get another chapter dedicated to the other guy, which I forgot the name of already. Dude, I forgot the name of the other dude. Leonard. So you get like a chapter for each person. I think for Madeline you get more than one. I don't remember. This book was a blur. It was so hard for me to read because I didn't love it. The story was okay. Like it's, I don't know if it's like a love story. It was very like philosophical, like the writing. I don't know. I wasn't entirely convinced by the writing, but my OCD will not let me put a book down. I cannot leave a book unfinished even though I don't like it. I've only ever done that with books. I'm like, completely hating. This one was eh, okay. So I didn't put it down even though I didn't want to continue reading it because the story wasn't intriguing enough. Like there was so much detail in places where I didn't feel like it was necessary and it was lacking, like the detail was lacking in places where I thought it was necessary. This book just didn't convince me. This guy's a famous author. I mean, he writes well, but I'm not convinced. I didn't really love it. It's an okay book. I'd probably give it like a 3.5 out of 5, 3 out of 5. Again, not entirely sure how I feel about this, but it's not my favorite. Let's just leave it at that. Up next, I have The Decentralist by Max Borders. This is Mission, Morality, and Meaning in the Age of Crypto. This book does not look like a book I would read. My dad recommended this book and he was like, you're gonna love it, it's so good. I was like, I don't really care about crypto and all those things, but it's kind of the future. So even though I don't care, it's something that I want to learn more about because apparently this is where humanity is headed. But basically this book is about the author. He's, I don't know, it feels kind of like a proposal for this new wave of life of humanity by decentralizing everything. It's full of jargon. It was hard for me to understand some aspects of this because, you know, it talks about crypto, it talks about blockchain, talks about decentralizing things. I don't completely understand a lot of these things, but what I loved about this book is that it humanizes these topics that are very like systems and you know, crypto is very like mystic and weird and a lot of people don't really understand it. And it's kind of a proposal that this guy is giving to where he wants to see humanity go next how to like decentralize the power, like the political power that is like in place right now, kind of how to kill that to get better results. And his proposal is more about like collaboration as opposed to coercion. This is where he would like to see humanity headed. And I think it's a great proposal. You know, I don't agree with every single thing that he talks about here, but what I do agree with is that by decentralizing everything, you get the power to choose and you get the power to change rules because I feel like all the systems that we live in now, they've been used for ages, you know, and the world is rapidly changing, technology is rapidly changing, but our systems haven't really changed. So I think his proposal is a good one. It's hard to explain. I think it's a good book. It's not super long. It's less than 200 pages, super easy to read. I read it in like a week. And even though there's a lot I don't understand, and I don't really know if I explained it well enough to you guys, I think it's, it's an important read. Probably give this book like a four out of five. 
because it really surprised me. And I think if you want to learn more about decentralization or, you know, you just want to learn more about alternatives to what we currently have in the world and society, then this is a good one. This is a good read. Surprising, but good. Um, my dad was right. Okay, guys, and unfortunately, that was it for this month. I wish I would have been able to read more, but I feel like I need to get back into more exciting books, more exciting reading. I wanna, you know, start reading more. So leave your best book recommendations down below. What have you been reading and loving? Let me know everything. Cause I just, I need to buy more books and like read, read, read. I got a holiday coming up, so I'm probably gonna be reading a lot then, hopefully. Leave your recommendations below and I would love you forever. If you enjoy my reading videos, and please make sure to give this one a thumbs up. It lets me know that you guys are vibing with them. And if you have any other suggestions for how I should do these kinds of uh, videos, then please let me know as always. And if you're into super easy and real makeup and beauty content with a little bit of book content and lifestyle sprinkled in every once in a while, then please make sure to subscribe buttons down below and I would love to have you. Thank you guys so so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this was helpful and I hope to see you right here. I don't know why I do this a lot but I hope to see you right here for my next one. I love you guys. Bye. That was a weird one. What did I do with my hands? I'm not sure but <laughs> bye.